Hey, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Katie and today we're going to Magic Kingdom. So if you're new to my Disney series this time, I'm on a solo trip for the very first time ever and I'm having the best time. So today is my last park day and I'm going to go to Magic Kingdom. I've not been there yet, so I'm really excited. I'll show you guys my outfit. I actually put this outfit on yesterday and then I decided it would be perfect for Magic Kingdom, so then I took it off. <laughs> My ears are from Shop Disney. My top is from Lululemon. Bottoms, this little athletic skirt is from American Eagle or Aerie. And then I have my Disney Starbucks 50th tote bag with my Mickey Nuimos and his little spirit jersey. And I'm wearing my Crocs with my princess gibbets. My feet have been hurting so bad. Ever since I started wearing the Crocs, they don't hurt anymore. So we're gonna keep wearing the Crocs. And then I have my little Minnie Mouse socks on from Amazon. 50th Magic Band with my vintage charm bracelet. Okay, I'm on a mission today to buy souvenirs for a bunch of people. Um, I already kind of know what I want for certain people. I just need to find it. I want that 2023 zip up, like the blue, the light blue color that says 2023. But I've not seen it anywhere, so I'm going to be on the lookout for that. Someone, I saw someone wearing it and I asked them where they got it. They said they got it at the Emporium. So maybe we'll do a little shopping this morning. But I do have a Lightning Lane booked for Space Mountain at 9 o'clock. So I want to get on that right away so that I can book Splash Mountain for later. I really want to ride it when it's getting kind of dark out because it's going to be my last time riding Splash Mountain as we know it. Although I'm very excited for them to retheme it. But it's going to be closed for a while. So I'm going to ride it one last time and I'm hoping to kind of ride it in the evening hours. So we'll see, but let's go to Magic Kingdom. I almost walked to the Skyliner on accident because I'm so used to getting on the Skyliner this trip. I haven't been on the bus since the first day I was here, so this will probably be a very humbling experience. Bus to Magic Kingdom right at park open, so we'll see how it goes. But I've been lucky. I've pretty much only had to ride the Skyliner this whole time, which is really nice. Movers and walk on. Should we go on that next? There's literally no one on it. See, this is like completely empty. Space Mountain is only a 25 minute wait. I don't think that's too bad. It's already 9 30, so but we're gonna use a lightning light. Hey, well, cross it off the bucket list Space Mountain with the lights on. I'm, at first I was like, are the lights on? But yeah, you couldn't see like any of the stars and you could see like the walls and stuff. So the lights were definitely like partially on. So cross it off the bucket list, the Disney bucket list. How to get Galactic Hero. <laughs> I did this last time, like Googled how to do it and I wasn't even close. So my hopes are not high, but. Thank you. Oh my god, I got so close. I have to ride this again. The dedication in my face. <laughs> I'm going again. I'm waiting in line to go again. <laughs> it's only a 15 minute wait. I feel good about that. I got it, 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 I got it. I did it. Galactic Hero, baby. I've never gotten it before, so this is very exciting. I'm gonna treasure this little sticker right here. Step carefully onto the moving platform, then step into the car. Your guide aboard this highway in the sky, the absolute best way to see tomorrow. Oh, well, there's Tron! I've never seen it running before. Okay, I just took some pictures right here by the castle. And I set my little phone stand on this thing right here and use the lens buddy to take a bunch of pictures of myself. So that's how I set it up. It 
and did more damage. Okay, enough shopping. I've already made two purchases this morning, but let's go get Starbucks. And we can like sit on the hub grass and drink a little pink drink. I'm so excited. Or is it your imagination? This chamber has no windows and no doors. <laughs> Adventureland is always like pure chaos. I feel like it's such tight quarters and there's always like so many people in strollers and everything. So I just did a mobile order at Casey's Corner for their vegan slaw dog. It's so good. And then I think I'm pretty much done riding rides for this morning. The only thing I still want to do is get on the train because that just opened back up kind of recently. So I've not been on that in forever. But yeah, I think I'm gonna stack some lightning, lightning lanes for later when I come back, like Splash Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain, save some big ones for when it's like getting dark because every ride is better in the dark, right? for me so I'm gonna give him a cast compliment so if you scroll all the way down here you can click cast compliment and then you put where you saw them who they are etc and then I don't know what they get I hope they get a, like a little something taking the bus to Art of Animation just because we were waiting forever <laughs> for the Pop Century bus and I figured I could just kind of walk around and then walk over to Pop. For 
some reason I feel very loyal to Pop, but I would consider staying here. It's very cute. Home sweet home. I wish I could just go straight across since my building is all the way over there, but you have to cross at the Skyliner station. Okay, it is now about 4.30. I have two lightning lanes booked for tonight at Magic Kingdom. I have a Big Thunder Mountain and a Splash Mountain. So I have changed because if I get wet at like six o'clock, I might get cold. So we are going, I haven't changed my shirt, same shirt that I was wearing this morning, but I have this little waffle knit, some blue leggings, and my Crocs still. Those pink and purple ones hurt my head the most of all the ones that I have. But typically I only buy the ones that don't really hurt my head, but these are more comfortable, so I'm gonna switch to my rose gold ears. I still haven't decided if I wanna watch the fireworks. I don't think I want to fight the crowds. So maybe I'll just watch it from Frontierland or Fantasyland. One thing that's so weird about coming to Disney solo is like you almost have too much freedom of like what you wanna do and it's almost making me like indecisive, which is really weird because I'm usually not really like that. I think I really needed this trip. I really needed a little break from reality. So I don't know, I'm just getting like all reflective now that it's my last day, but I'm just proud of myself for doing something that's out of my comfort zone. And honestly, being in Disney alone, it's not weird at all. Like no one cares. <laughs> and I actually made a lot of friends along the way. So um, anyway, let's go back to Magic Kingdom. <laughs> Finally got my Mickey pretzel. Oh, it's Tiana. <laughs> oh. referring to a link another vlog above where my mom tells me how she tricked me into going on Big Thunder Mountain when I was like three and I screamed the entire way to get me off the scary train so it's just a fast train ride I'm so glad I saved those two rides for the end that was really fun to do both of those in a row kind of hit Frontierland and do two of my favorites. Saved part of my Mickey Purple, so hopefully it's not squished. All right, I'm off to get a Dole Whip. I haven't had a Dole Whip the whole time I've been here and it's like one of my favorites, so let's go get a Dole Whip.
nothing could top that view that I had for enchantment. I wasn't even gonna stay for the fireworks, but I was like, I just have all this extra time and like I might as well just camp out and get a good spot. And it was so worth it. It was so much different than watching it from Main Street. You could see all the projections so clearly. It made me really appreciate Enchantment a little bit more. And it's probably the last time I'll ever see it. So I'm glad I stayed, but I felt like nothing could top that. So I didn't even film anything after that because it was just so perfect. So this is my last Disney vlog. So if you're still here, Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Thanks for keeping me company on my solo trip. If you like these types of videos, make sure you give this one a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And hopefully I'll have some more Disney vlogs coming at some point. I just don't really know when. I don't have any trips planned coming up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.